one, two, three, go! Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is episode 30 of the Trugwog series, where we take a deep dive into the TFAK subreddit and see what the heck we're doing here. So, first things first. What's up everyone? How are you all doing? Hopefully enjoying your weeks, the weekend. I don't really have too much to say but like, before we start beginning. But I am just so surprised we got to 30 parts of the Trugwog series. If you've been here since the beginning, definitely let me know down in the comments. And I would like to think that this series has been improving. And if any tips or tricks or any recommendations, maybe besides me giving my redacted takes every like two seconds, definitely, yeah, def definitely let me know what you think about everything. Okay, so, I don't know really what Brendan has been up to as of late. I do know he was supposed to have a Viking pan, but it got cancelled for one reason or another. I actually, I do recall he hearing AZ talk about how Tony Hinchcliffe was there, and Tony Hinchcliffe really doesn't like Brendan all too much. But, I mean, regardless if that's true or not, which, I mean, well, I guess, irregardless, I think anyone could have been like, yo, if Brennan Schaub is there, I want nothing to do with this. Because why would you? You know he has a whole subreddit that trolls him on the regular. So why would you even, you wouldn't even touch that with like a 10 foot pole. So if that's the reason why it was cancelled, that is, honestly, it is pretty funny. Brendan hasn't changed much from how he used to be super toxic, but he still is really toxic for the most part. You, it's always when you see those really sad clips and you think, okay, maybe we should let up on this dude. Maybe we've gone too far. But then you see his worst of, like, reels. And you realize just how unnecessary it all is. Brendan, there's no reason you ever had to be so toxic. Have this huge ego on you. But you do. And just like Wings of Redemption, why, why should I change? Well, I guess you don't have to. But if you want to get trolled until the end of time, then you might consider changing. And Wink just thinks we want him just to work out. No, we want you to change as a person. Maybe so you're not so toxic. But I, I, don't, I guess that's one thing narcissists will never do is change because to change is to be admitting a fault. It would... It would suck to have this sort of ego. Oh, and I actually captured, uh, I actually captured this um, Hogwarts Legacy footage this morning. I, yeah, I know you could tell. I really prepared for this. No, no, but it's like a whole um, level. It's pretty cool if you watch this whole thing through. So I'll probably make sure to keep this episode as long as this is, which is probably around like 120 minutes, I think. So hold me to it. Okay, so first things first of the first post, XCAP says Joe Rogan's sparring footage. Okay, let's check this out because we all know Rogan has violence in his DNA and that's really scary. For the love of everything holy, please, please tell me this is old. I, 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 I won't believe this is, this is like recent. <laughs> the 
about if, if anyone's just listening and not watching, you would be witnessing one of the most pathetic sparring matches I've possibly ever seen and has ever been recorded. Um, it's it's hard to believe it's real, everyone. I'll, I'll be honest. It's, what we're witnessing is hard to believe it's real. I have to believe that this was taken like years and years ago or else I will lose my freaking mind. But if, if, I, if, if this was recent, I will give this dude slap and say, hey, you're boxing against Joseph Rogan. Do you think you're really gonna wanna try beating the crap out of him? It, 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 it's not very good optics. It's all about the optics. Okay. Now that, I totally agree. That was dicey, dicey. Wasn't he in Texas for the Viking pan? Did it get canceled at the last moment? Oh, it, it, it did. Whoa. And this is like the truck he's giving away, except, um, it, it's blue. Oh, so, okay, so if Brendan wasn't lying about anything ever, it's the fact that he said he's building the giveaway truck for his fans. Or no, you know, well, obviously, but um, he said he's building it the way he would do it for himself. And this dude goes out and builds the same exact thing. That is crazy. That is that's crazy. He's like, I love this truck so much. I'm, I just do just duplicate it. Oh, wow. must be nice to have that much money, right? Yeah, but we got these nuts, Zach Jen. Hold on. Keeps oh, blatant <laughs> was it? Could uh, it have oh, gone to? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Could it have gone to anything worse than that? Hold on. Let's watch this one. Rogan confuses his life story. But the, there was one time that I never recovered from. When I was 19 years old, I fought in Anaheim, California. Flew out here to fight in the Nationals. Won my first fight. Then I won my second fight. I was fighting this kid. And uh, I was there with just me and uh, my friend Junksick. And this guy, they had their whole team with them. And there's all these people in the stands that were... I, re I remember saying, come on, Johnny. Get him, Johnny. Get him, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go get him, Johnny. And he was, he was doing some things, and I was seeing some openings, and I hit him harder than I've ever hit anybody in my life, which is, I hit him so hard, I was limping for a couple days afterwards because my heel hurt from hitting his head. But I went back to my instructor, and my instructor was a hard man. He's a Korean dude who had been taught by General Che Young Yi, who's the original founder of Taekwondo. And this guy was hard. And when I went back and told Mr. Kim, I said, uh, you know, we were talking about the tournament. He goes, I heard you had a really good knockout. And I said, it was very scary. I go, uh, I thought he was dead. And he goes, sometimes they die. And I remember looking at him and going, fuck, he's right. And that was the decline of my Taekwondo career from that moment on. I fought for a couple more years, but I lost a lot of my enthusiasm with that one fight. That is that is so funny. Nice. Let's go on this one. Nuts. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. That was a, a a really funny one. It was almost too uncanny how similar it really did seem to the Karate Kid. Now, Joseph Rogan doesn't necessarily strike me as a liar, but, I mean, I guess Brendan didn't sh um, come across as a liar to everyone. He, he, he duped the system. I think it's so funny that, like, podcasts have, like, a different, like, like podcasts, like, aren't creative works because Brent, Brendan made that legal president or, like, somehow something so crazy. Okay, let's let's restart this. Re restart this. A pier of nuts hanging out of Fran. Interesting. Interesting. 
Yeah, but we got to see his nutsack, Jen. Hold Keeps on. How blatant down. was it? Uh, oh, his It's a pair of nuts hanging out the front. When nuts. Nuts. When nuts. Nuts. When nuts. Nuts. It's a pair of nuts hanging out the front. <laughs> you know what I really love? I just thought about how this whole sub has more comedic sense than Brett and Chab ever had. Because think about it. The end of a joke is all about bringing it forward or bringing it all 360. But Brett and never got that. Oh, oh look at um, Sinaz has her, um, has her at. That's so weird. Oh, whatever. Um, what was I saying about that? Oh, so this, whoever made this clearly, like, has a really good sense of humor. And honestly, you could almost wager that they're part of the sacred 250. That, that would be most impressive. And the fact that he screamed, like, it's like, it drives me nuts. Like, dude, it's not that big of a deal. Brendan, well, hey, if you're known for anything, it's blowing things out of proportion. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next one. Why even bother recording this and posting it on YouTube? So, yeah, I, I, I think I've seen this this morning, actually. Um, Brendan Shad went on one with Jared Brooks, and I seen someone's comment, actually. And they were like, wait, it's one-on-one, -on -one, but there's three of them. And I was like, that is such a good point. I think I, I think I, like, I checked my phone for, like, all socials, like I do every morning, in, like, a half-awake, half-asleep, like, situation. Sometimes I might even re reply to people and be, like, half-awake, I, I don't even know. I just, I just go. So, what... Sometimes I, I just go and just forget what the heck I'm, I'm even saying. Ugh, I need just to relax for like two seconds. <laughs> um, but first off, I don't even know who Jared Brooks is. And now that I'm even pondering it, why are there three of them when it says one on one? What does that mean? I would, it would trigger me. I'm not going to lie. If they mean they're each talking to each other. Like, he thinks one-on-one -on -one is just like, oh, it's just we're all talking to each other. And some, like, re redacted mindset. That's um, so weird. Then we went to Comic-Con, and uh, the oh, coolest thing starting. in one of the current events we have here is Marvel announced the new Doctor Doom is going to be Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, did you see people go crazy? They, I was in the room. They went nuts tough one because he was Iron Man. Yeah, so but so that's the whole like, multiverse thing, right? Mm. Well, Robert Downey Jr. was also a black guy in Tropic Thunder and then Great also film. Iron Man. So the, the thing is that he's so Iron Man, so for him to be Doctor Doom, but he's so good that he'll pull it off. Yeah. Really exciting. How do we feel about people going crazy over that announcement? <gasps> Come on. I don't know Dr. Doom. That's <laughs> Hi. I I'm, not familiar. Familiar. I'm familiar with Dr. Either. Doom. Yeah, I know Dr. Doom. Who was he? He's a, he's a villain? He's a yes. villain. Superman. Bad, bad guy. bad guy. I mean, Lex Luthor, but uh, not Dr. Doom. I don't remember. Dr. Doom was bad, a Bad, bad guy. Yeah. You're, you're familiar? Yeah. Oh, whoa, Snaz has either unwillingly or willingly picked up all of Shabism's Bad, bad guy. Like, whoa. I, I even know, like, I know, like, maybe I say things that are absolutely cr No, I, I definitely say things that are absolutely crazy. But I know when it's like, oh, they're a bad guy compared to, oh, they're bad guy. It sounds as though you're an infant. Oh, mommy, that that's bad guy. Whoa. I know when we accuse Brendan of like, well, maybe I'm totally making this up, but if we say he is like mentally just, okay, this sounds kind of horrible, but 
Oh, he he has like the mindset of like a oh like a sixteen year old bully. That's his whole mindset, like a high school bully. And on on ironic enough, it's not even his like mindset that is so immature. It's also his speech. I know, but you're like, oh, high stakes. What gave it away? Like, oh, you didn't know he could talk. A uh, giraffe wasn't enough for you. That's a fear point. Giraffe should have been enough. But hey, we all have that one quirk. But when you start on, when you start peeling away the layers of the onion, you get to the core. You get to the core, baby. <laughs> okay, let's let's check this one up first. Spicy dishes on sale at Chang. So it's almost like first year, like a UFC fight. If, if you bought his merch, you're like kind of into the UFC scene, but now you're automatically a truck guy. I'm not a marketing genius, but I almost think you should make things like have it like a, on a regular shirt, kind of like this, but. The logo is just too truck worthy. The very least, keep making your other lines. Just because you're not into the UFC anymore doesn't mean your fans still aren't. And then, and right there at the core of the onion, we found something else. It's your narcissism. You think your fans just instantly want these same exact things you do, the same style, they're into the same hobbies. But really, if you if you start expanding your portfolio, you need to ex expand the way you do everything. It's almost like you need to start almost pleasing everyone to a point. At least with your clothes, it, they need more variety. And you didn't see that. You think all your fans are just the same, which to an extent, extent they might be. They're all just thick boys. So so weird. Episode a episode one thousand K grand. Um Oh because it says eight hundred and thirteen episodes. Oh that is good. Dumb, dumb. That's have you guys seen that's him? really good. If you guys have never seen Hector Lombard. The guy is Dude, absolutely no diddy. Dude, he had, he had yoga pants on when I was in Vancouver walking down the street. It shut the street down. It, dude, his ass and legs and the 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 Cuban tail out the front. It shut the street down. Yeah. It was. I mean, yeah, that fucking he's, Cuban he's sandwich scary, hanging out the he's front. He's a scary motherfucker. That's for sure. Uh, um, excuse me, sir. And he, he, of course, I've run ahead to repeat it like multiple times. Of course he did. All right, let's keep, let's keep moving on here. Okay, now, now I'm getting serious. Now I'm getting serious about things. You're going to be my boyfriends now. Um, the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go back, Disrespect. go down there. Why go wouldn't there. you? If you're Aquaman, no, no, down. His, his one, genetics one, one, are one down, one more down. Five, your thing. The oh. pointer. The point. the, his genetics are pretty crazy, though. He's got great genetics. Yeah, but when you mix that, he was on Baywatch. Right. Hawaii. When you mix that oh, with Hawaii. like testosterone, you're, you're gonna get a real special. Human but unless man. he just started. Okay, so I I think it's time to read this before it just automatically started. Says Chin is so fed up with Googling the wrong thing. He bought Bapa and rings an LED pointer thing so they, they can show him what he should click on the monitor. Chin, I don't get why are you so bad at computers? I get every job to an extent. It's kind of like learn as you go sort of situation. And I guess Chin, you are sort of a boomer. So I sort of understand why it's a, it's a bit tricky for you. I get it. I get it, Chin. But then my next question, too, is how have you managed to keep this job so long if you don't even know what the heck you're doing? Brennan, I guess maybe loyalty 
means a lot to you, which that's good. But you need a your YouTube tech to know what the heck they're doing. They need to know how to basic like edit, cut, clip, make shorts, like thumbnails. But chin and snaz just ain't it. They just ain't it, bud. That's deep. That's deep. Could I do a better job at a snaz or chin? Maybe. May I haven't I honestly I really don't know. Probably I don't find that. <laughs> okay. And we move so on. So what so Istanbul is 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 what's so unique about Istanbul? You can go over a bridge and go from what to what? Anyone? Anyone? Turkey. Uh, what is what is what is Istanbul divided between? What what? You can get to Turkey, right? It's very famous for the fact that it's split by the Bosphorus, which is a river, essentially part of the Marmara Sea. So you can go Sea. from a river to you and can then go you from end up... Asia to Europe. You okay. can go over. You can go from one landmass to another. Okay. It was it was the Byzantine Empire became Constantinople. Then it became it was the center of Christianity. You're Roman still not, East. You're still and not then it became, me on. Look at that. Look at that. Um. Yeah, Kellen, honestly, you're not selling that on me either. I really wasn't sure what the heck you were talking about. And to be honest, I don't even know where Istanbul is either. Like, if you, if you told me it was a country, I would probably believe you. I have a degree in... So Istanbul is what's so unique about Istanbul? Whatever. I can't, I can't it's straight. Yeah, can I bet you straight? naturally they started with two hands. Some dude's like, dude, that's bitch, dude. One arm, and then you got to flap it like that. Human that's, beings, human. Well, great. It may have been you. You got to stay on that whore, and then we'll distract it because they're gonna try to kill you. So we got to keep it because the first guy I did it got the bull went. Oh, you were on my back. He died. Yeah. But I was telling T, he's like, oh, this is like Ferdinand. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I said, I can show you what they do in Spain, but you're probably going to have nightmares. He goes, Dad, come on. I'm like, what do he say? He goes, I'm not a baby. I'm like, cool. Well, I'm not going to show you in front of your brother, but when we sit down for lunch, I'll do a little search for you on my phone. Dude? Dude. You talking about fighting bulls? Dude? Dude. He, that might have been, he, he'll never forget that memory. That was a triggering memory for that young man. The day he's never been the same. It might have been the most horrific thing he's seen. Because have you, if you just Google it and then you oh, bring him up. Oh. Okay, I, I know this is stupid, but when he said triggering, he actually meant traumatizing. But that's, that's too big of a word for him, for sure. But he, I think the only reason he, even if he does know traumatized, the only reason he said triggered was because he has to remind us all that he is a faithful loyalist to the right. He is one of those conservatives that has always got to tell you. I guess I do liberals do the same thing. He, yeah. Oh, oh there's bulls with like 40 spears in them. Well, I've been bleeding I've everywhere. Been spears. Spears. Bull fight and I'm, I'm on, not. Let's go back. Let's go back. If you just Google it and then you oh, bring him up. Oh, oh, oh can... there's bulls with like 40 spears in them. Well, I've been bleeding spears. everywhere. Into a f spears. bull fight and I'm, I'm not a uh, very sentimental guy. It might have been the most horrific I'm thing he's seen. Because have you, if you just Google it and then you oh, bring him up, oh, 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 there's bulls with like forty spears in them. Well, I've been bleeding I've every. Wait, did he, he he just said bulls. He said there's a bunch of bulls. If you just Google it and then you oh, bring him up, oh, 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 there's bulls with like bulls. forty spears in them. Well, I've been bleeding I've everywhere. I've been to a f bull fight, it, it, and I'm, I'm not a uh, very sentimental guy. Everywhere. I hated seeing what they did to those bulls. But Tiger just goes, why? Please understand this. I went, it's sport. No, no, here's why. Dude, Bosti got to... Look at that fucking Bosti and T got to sit on a bull, paid the guy $10, got to sit on a bull. Bosti's yanking on his ear. I'm like, Bubba, not a horse, not a cow. No. Stop yanking his ear. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Kids, they, they, you know, if you don't, <sighs> they don't know. They don't know. Busting you, fuck. But that, 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 that there's things. video. Did you show them video of those bulls? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I only show them video of the bull winning. It sucks. Tiger was so scarred. It I went. Sucks. This is a life lesson. Okay. <laughs> don't ever question your goddamn dad again. Oh, he said I showed him video. It. 
Okay, I'm like just tearing his speech apart, but just like just like Wings of Redemption, he is getting worse. I didn't even think that was possible, quite frankly. But Brennan Schaub is losing his ability to talk. Whoa. Now you're scarred for life, and right? Those bulls have put their horns. And I need to show a little your body. goddamn respect yeah. to the bull. Yeah. And your brother as well, because he's yanking that bull's air. Yeah. Bet you wouldn't do that tail matador bull no, here. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. You have to teach him a level yeah. of respect, dude. Mm -hmm. I had to. Yeah, those things will. Uh... Um, okay. Like, Brennan, what are you even talking about? Dude, you're crazy. Okay. Jaw dropping. The cast on that was like, we got the guy. When you saw him before anybody knew him in a t shirt, though, 6'4, 250, whatever he is, it's just dropping. like, what is going on? You're jaw, jaw dropping. Jaw dropping. Jaw. Oh, 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 hold on. Let, let's go back to this. 250, whatever he is, jaw it's just dropping. like, what is going on? You're jaw, jaw dropping. Jaw dropping. Jaw. I will never be able to tell for certain if he actually was like probably like, okay look, I'm, I'm gonna throw you a freebie to remind you it's not jaw it's jaw but Br brian is just such a cuck i don't believe that he tried making some passive aggressive statement it was probably just more of like oh let me just repeat you because you always repeat me sort of thing like ha 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 go along to get along Pro probably that is so. I need so old too. <laughs> okay. Never put my hands near my chest, B. Brennan, just like just like straws, all you, what you're known for is being a hard on your hand, nice guy, all team nice guy. That's you, bud. <sighs> Very, very interesting. Do any cats happen to have any updates on the Thig Boy Appeals case against Unique? Um. Oh yeah, but like Bob said, it was like over, but according to Unique, it wasn't. I'm not sure what's going on with that, to be honest. But who knows? But of course, Brandon just has to keep suing, of course, and. It's, I, I don't expect him to be honest if he's still suing. It makes him look worse. He learned the whole suing thing made him look like a mm, bad guy. So he has all the incentive in the world to say that it's over. And he's just praying on his heart nice guy. It's, yeah. That Unique doesn't expose him to the world. But Unique ultimately did. Okay, all this... This isn't available anymore. Oh, I have a bunch of upvotes. Oh, what, what can you do? They say vote with your wallet, right? It's good to be oh, back. Okay. Bapa is talking about flipping the truck if we don't hurry up and buy merch. Okay, this should be guys. good. Um, drive fast, all gas. Four weeks left to win this freaking truck. I'm sick of talking about this freaking truck. Uh, four weeks left to win this truck. You have a freaking Raptor R killer, over 700 horsepower. We beat the Raptor R in every single way. Every. We have special merch dropping this Friday, limited edition. It's the collab with King Shocks and Drive Fast All Gas, camo hats, shirts, uh, that drops this freaking Friday. DriveFastAllGas.com. And I think when we drop the merch, it's only three days. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday at midnight, it all goes away. You can never buy this hat or shirt again. And you get 30 times entries as well. And we're only doing that this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you haven't jumped in and got a shot to win this ridiculous truck. Ridiculous. Um, also, we need to hurry up and give this thing away if I flip it. So go to drivefastallgas.com. Limited edition camo tees, camo hats. The hat I'm rock rocking right now. I don't have the shirt. Um, Mr. I have a black belt in podcasting, which is so cringe to even say that enough. But... You would think if you're doing your own giveaway, selling your own merch, that you wouldn't need a cue card. You would know. Ex you would just know exactly what to say, right? I don't think I'm too off base here. 
it just it the stuff like that really just should come naturally to you just like how my outros for the most part always just come naturally to me i don't have them ri written down on a, on a cue card and freaking black belt in podcasting yo i don't know if this is considered a podcast i, I know some people do and i'm not here to get into that whole like argument but yeah it's so hard just to sit in front of a computer give your redacted takes and then just and then just press the off button right on your computer dude we, we're all just talking crap to each other it's as simple as that the internet is nothing more than one big call of duty lobby <laughs> i think that's a, a, a really good way to put it yeah okay let's let's we have yeah, it's coming but left. um yeah it's collab with king shocks and dry fast all gas limited edition only available for three days and get 30 time entry fees all right so you go to dryfastallgas.com uh the new merch will drop this friday all right kids that's it love you i feel like i need to know why he's like so everyone hears me talking like, right? one of the good guys he's a good guy he's a bad guy like brendan is everyone in your life just like a superhero or a super villain like what the heck's going on but okay i, I won't hear me like talk like oh like here i am talking i'm talking i'm talking everyone here's the giveaway i have going on to like this week blah 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 blah, blah i'm brendan whatever so what is there a difference between me having my hand right in front of my mouth when i'm talking we'll see we will see. Uh, guess who's back? Okay. Back again. Tell a friend. Um, we're full swing here at Thick Boy Studios. Brian Callen's back from his um, white privilege vacation on the yachts, doing his thing. Um, so he's back. Friend could be back in full flow this week. All scheduled broadcast is uh back in action so your boy's shooting a ton of podcasts this week as usual uh the shop show we don't stop can't stop won't stop my kids got pneumonia in her. do you want to like, see something I, right now before you keep talking that's going to change your life that's going to like lock into exactly what you're saying uh, and you show don't even you know what way. i'm going to finish saying but yes i'm going to show you the way jamie go to my twitter page and watch this watch this this is very important my friend please this is rest. very important one of yes, put it up please. on the screen That's, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is that is great. I love that. Oh, what was I just thinking about? Oh, I I I, I, t I totally forgot what I was about to say, but I actually really did like this chin sucking balcony. Big ups to you. Okay, let's move on. How socials. Oh, oh, sorry. I was actually just thinking. I think I did remember what I was saying. I was like, oh, of course, Brendan has to say that little, like, oh, just, just so everyone knows I'm not part of the left. Whoa, Brendan, we get it. You're not part of the left, Brendan. Whoa, we get it. We get it. You're not part of the left. Whoa. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Okay. It's official. Patty Pimlet has arrived with a win if he keeps winning it's the closest we have to the notorious mma star potential oh so brennan is oh should we, should we should we should we click on this i just hate when it like messes up when i click on things that's what i don't brennan just tries shouting out any celebrity to try getting their attention couldn't happen to a nicer dude can any veteran chefs take a look at this? Diddler is a straight assassin in this clip. I mean, he he's actually not, he's not the worst, but he is looking particularly ghoulish as of late. And it's very scary. My, I don't, know, I don't think he's act well, yeah, I am joined today by uh, oh, Brennan Shaw. He's done some, but he hasn't rode... Uh, Dana's bull. 
Oh yeah. Oh. And the the money in bull riding this is why Dana's smart because Dana owns the bull. The money's not riding the bull. The money's in owning the bull, and then you basically rent that bull out, and they pay you. So you get a cut of everybody who's riding that bull. It's yeah, kind of like NASCAR. Oh. You know him from the Big Brown Breakdown, from uh, The Fighter and the Kid. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything, comedy, sports, punch people in the face. Getting punched in the face, a little bit, it happens, right? It's happened many of times. It's a take, like but, I'm just trying to like no, honey dick people, like, oh, yeah. give me views, give me that. No, 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 I, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Not, <laughs> I no, 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 I boxed for 15 years, okay. fought professionally for 10 years in mixed martial arts. I know box, I know mixed martial arts. Yeah. And I know when I got in there with professional boxers, it took them out a round to feel me out. And, I, and I'm a traditional, the way I, the way I do stand-up is, is traditional, you know? It's boxing, I don't I have this weird, awkward style. Connor does. With, Connor has this you, weird- You said with stand-up. Sta my well, standing up, striking game. Oh. <sighs> oh, let everyone, let's watch this again. This is, this one is pretty wild. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna pause it every few by, seconds. Uh, Brennan Schaub. You know him from the Big Brown Breakdown, from uh, The Fighter and the Kid. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything, comedy, sports. Oh, what, what's it like? What's he like? Keep, keep naming things. Keep, keep naming things. Let me squint my eyes. Punch people in the Look face. At... Getting punched in the face a little bit. It yeah. happens, right? It's happened many of times. It's just take. Like I'm just trying to like. Uh, uh, many of times. At least he was sh showing some humility, humility, humility there. Because he, he lies about everything else, so I wouldn't be surprised if he lied about this. Okay. Cunny dick people like, oh, yeah. give me views, give me that. No, 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 no. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Not, <laughs> no, no, no. I boxed for 15 years. Okay. I fought professionally for 10 years in mixed martial arts. It did, it did not sound like he said fought. If you know, you know. I know box, I know mixed martial arts. Yeah. And I know when I got in there with professional boxers, it took them out a round to feel me out. And, I, and I'm a traditional, the way I, the way I do stand-up is, is traditional, you know? It's boxing, I don't I have this weird, awkward style. Connor does. With, Connor has this you, weird- You said with stand-up. You sta My well, standing up, striking game. Oh. It's like the way I do my stand-up, like, no, you meant the way I stand up, like, or my stand-up is. See, Brendan, it's the very subtle things about the English language that make everything more clear. But when you say, um, when I do stand up, that means like, oh, dude, you are wild, Brendan. What has gotten into you lately? Just noticed. Oh, zero view or zero likes. Well, let's see. Uh huh. The well, question right now yeah, is that's Mike Tyson in his prime versus Fury in his prime. Who wins, Mike? That's the question. <laughs> Mike, before you answer, this is no disrespect to me. He big, Mike. Technically wise, Fury can go, he can go defense. His footwork's is big. To me, as far as technique wise, Fury's the best we've ever had. Oh wow. What you Whoa. Brandon, first, like, first, first things first, you interrupted him like right off street, which is wild. Be you thought what you were saying was like almost like this needs to be said first, but Brandon, you need to realize if people are asking someone else a question, someone arg arguably a lot more famous than you, that you would have the just the audacity to just be quiet but you almost like thought like oh look i know what it takes to be a black belt in podcasting if you really did you would have let him speak first but that is wild that interruption was actually like more and plus brendan i'll be honest it doesn't help that your face your face is super bloated and you have that nicotine in you look you you look like a fat slob. <laughs> and so, it, um, imagine, imagine this dude interrupting you. Imagine this dude interrupting you. 
you wouldn't, or even disres disrespecting you, it would sort of rub one the wrong way, I would think. There's a famous comedian matchup that you'd like to see happen in the league. Famous comedian matchup? Yeah, out of anyone. Really? Man, I want to see Brendan Schaub. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Brendan Schaub versus any. Yeah, yeah, cool. How many chicks I you fuck, like bros? Zero. I make. I love that. Oh, that is so good. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get my thoughts right. Brendan Schaub versus anybody that's how much of a joke you are yeah you you are just that unlikable brennan if you were even a little less hateable i mean you would get more fans but you just you have just an ego where it's all about me you're you're you honestly brennan you might be a true narcissist and it's like purest form okay let's see what this is on this week's food truck diaries and talks and he meeting. we booked him really short notice so we couldn't get him a food truck so i went and picked up chicken sandwiches and we got him out of the trunk of my car Ooh. and did we did we get uh like how like the <laughs> this, this uh, not recent resign time so she had knee surgery for to eat uh delicious food was did, did what what was the what was the, the any I'm, any I, I'm, I mean Super Bowl here and if you can bet on the Super Bowl you can bet on the Super Bowl the Super Bowl gambling problem cool in a uh obviously you're you know um how in in Does am it, I am yeah. I, too, am I I'm, a, I'm a positive person am I too we, positive no, we, you know I don't know I don't okay. it, it, there's a lot of you know it's just a lot of the it, it, it is not, it's not, it's, it wouldn't be good. Saki, Sakai, on this week's Food Truck Diaries. That was he, We booked awesome. really short notice, so. Oops. Okay. That was so good. Brendan, you, you almost sounded like me. Dude, at least I don't say I have a black belt in podcasting. That was... That was honestly really cringe. And that's the time that you just like Brennan, dude, if he's a fighter that I'm assuming he he is, then you should just have question after question, or at least done some research. This is one of your perfect examples when you're just going wasn't such a good idea. Poor Brendan. Do you ever wonder Brendan. how Nectar can offer No, I don't wonder. From UFC fighter to comedian, the downfall of Brennan Schaub. Hey, I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm not going to go to Starbucks because I, I, in Melbourne, especially, I'm they, have, they say they're well, the best club in the world. I'm, but I'm with you. Yes, but I'm no, just I get saying. it. Yeah, I don't know, but I will say, <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't have Burger King. They they do have it, but it's called Hungry Jacks because oh, they already it. had Burger King. Hate it. You hate that it's called Hungry. I, yeah, I don't like well, it. they couldn't. They already had the trademark there in Australia, so they uh, can't call it Burger King. Oh, because there was another Burger King there? Yeah, so now it's Hungry Jack. Same, same logo, thing. though. Same thing. Okay, I would Everything's go. Everything's the same. I would so, go. So, and then you go to New Zealand, and then they have Burger King. They just don't have it in Australia. It's funny. Burger King. You know what this is all from? This That's is all from, uh, we could thank, like, the, the Star Wars universe for I all this kind of stuff. Yeah. You're right. Like, they, they, they go, you build a universe, let's not ever leave it. So, I, you know, no, I, I, I like that kind of well, stuff. Well, that's what they should Agreed. do. They should make, dude, they should make fucking shows that are great and then when it's popping off make the fucking what happened before how did we it? get here call I, sal i, I always sal. have been saying that it's saul but i've always been saying that better cal sal <laughs> oh yeah i know oh, we shit. got the grammar <clears throat> fucking no no, no it's not the grammar it's the way listen dude let you me come back from I, dude he was obviously making fun of you and brennan and brennan said that Chris messed up. That is crazy. That that is wild to me. He's that dumb. He thought Chris actually messed up the speech when he's making fun of him. Wow, it almost shows how how triggered he gets 
when you cracked his speech because he like almost instantly deflected and he's like oh well, what, what about chris Whoa. Australia is like, we're to say it the way he wants. Oh, I know. You're Sal? in fucking Capri. It's yo you better honor. call Sam. <laughs> You're right. I have been doing a lot of grammar checking. You're right. I should yeah. stop that. I should stop that. You're Thank right. You. Stupid bitch. So back to presuming innocent. Who do you think it is? No, no. Just shut the guy. fuck up. He said too much. But here's the thing. I, here's what I'm. Here's what I'm generally pissed at. Okay. I actually. I think that's cool that Chris is actually correcting his speech. That is so funny because, yeah, Brendan Evans like, oh, you're wearing capris. Dude, tell me you're mad without telling me you're mad. That like, that really hurt your feelings. Brendan, you are more sensitive than any of us could have ever imagined. That is so crazy, seriously. Okay. I hate my kids. Check out my butt. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's really weird. Hey, e either do OnlyFans like me, or I don't... Then I don't see the purpose of these pictures. You know what I mean? Unless there's like... Unless she's like doing it, doing it on the side, which... That would be interesting. Very interesting. Re Resort doing his best to get on TV. Resort. Um. Uh, I I I don't get it. It done count. Brian goes through some bullshit oh, YouTube a little bit. Dead. I never thought in a million years that I'd be sitting here defending myself against something I did not do 21 years ago. This is me saying that I categorically and absolutely deny all the allegations against me. I have been characterized as someone that no one, no one who knows me, not my friends, not my family, not my fans would ever recognize. And that's because that's not who I am. That is not what I, that's not something I could do. Those are things not never the things that I could, I couldn't do. Those are not things that I would ever do. That's not who I am. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> dicey, dicey for sure. That sucks, but hey, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. <laughs> Looking good though. Well, Getting she's so up. immune to my sexual harassment that she just rolls her eyes. I've been sexually harassing hey, her for well, since I've known. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would go to try to do like four minutes in front of three like drunk college girls, <laughs> and then you would try to have sex with those three drunk college girls. Sure would. After, sure after I had sure after I had bombed in front of them. Old dirt bag over here. And I'd turn around and your dick was out. <laughs> hey, the old <laughs> dick. You, you were impressed with my piece. Though. I screamed the up. first time. Yeah. The first I, you know, time I, you pulled your dick out. Knowing me, <laughs> that as much of a dirt bag as I am, and I go look at my dick, and then probably you were driving the car, and that night you were over it, and I was. I like, I want to, maybe I can figure out a way to get a blow. <laughs> Brian is one of the best. He's so silly. Like, I love him so much that yeah. I broke up with this girl and, uh, Brian, <laughs> um, she was, she was calling me because she was horny. And I was like, look, I have a new girlfriend, but I have a friend who'll fuck you. And he's just like, <laughs> And so this, I, I sick Brian on my ex-girlfriend and he fucked her. She calls me up. She goes, your friend came inside me. She goes, yeah, your fucking friend came inside me. And I was like, well, did you tell him that you were on the pill? She goes, no, no, I'm not on the pill. And I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. You know, that's Brian. That's Brian Kellen. Brian Kellen. Uh, you know, when they talk about that consent, and they, you no know, means no always. Yes, yes, I know. But don't, please don't get in the bedroom and tell me how to talk. Yeah. I mean, even in the animal kingdom, courtship is the duck, the lion is saying no, 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 and then finally the lion gets on. Please, please. 
drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. That was wild. I loved that. That was so good. Big ups to Guild Guitars. Now that I really think about it, Brian does deserve everything and more. If not just for the sole, sole fact that he finished inside a girl without her consent that is just like so messed up that's that's horrible that really is so i get like you need proof whatever you know but after what you've said what your friends have said about you it's hard to not think that you are 100 percent guilty yeah. Oh, life rips. It does indeed, my friends. Oh, this video isn't available. Uh, Malice, you have you ever asked a baddie to walk oh, you? No, no, hold on. This is a fucking okay. tough matchup. And I think Tom's going to be put in positions that he's, he, you know, it's not going to be all rainbows and freaking crumpets for him. He's going to have to fight. And I think we're going to find he meant sunshine and rainbows. R you're rainbows and freaking crumpets. Which is kind of funny because I think crumpets are from like Britain. And this Hogwarts Legacy gameplay takes place in England. You know, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Rainbows and freaking crumpets. Or sunshine and freaking rainbows. Let's see what this is. Dicey, dicey. To your truck, water, water. We that's the flatter than the kid. For, I don't know. Apparently, I be getting those when I first started doing skits. They like walk me to the truck. I was like, man, I don't know. I think that's British shop, whatever. So all these comments it's is gonna be British shop shit. I think. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Hey, dog, man, crazy crossover fan since T Fat K. So I told you, bro. You, I didn't know. I didn't know y'all had people. Do y'all know Fighter and the Kids? No, bro. I, that's crazy. I did not know this podcast. Either. This is a uh, predominantly black podcast. I was on a predominantly white podcast. So in the middle of America, he always tell me that's like your audience so we couldn't really speak on black issues and shit like that so he'll cut it out because he was like our fans don't want to listen to that but it just tripped me out like how i don't know if they black or white but it just tripped me out like how yeah. like a lot of people on t -Fact. oh that is indeed dicey dicey whoa that is so annoying I, it's crazy i i'm like Speechless. It it almost surprises me when people are like, like, they're like, "What are we doing here?" And they're like, "Oh, I, I don't get what that means." Like, what, what what do you mean? You don't you don't know what it means? Everyone knows what are we doing here? It's like, oh, Baba. Everyone knows this. Someone's like, "No, I, I don't I don't do the Brennan Shab drama." I wish I can say, I don't. But that's all I do. <laughs> okay. Was, Brian, is that where his hat? Oh, no, okay. oh, that's like tomorrow. Interesting. From twelve dollars. How the mighty have fallen can happen to a nicer dude. And by the way, I've said this before ooh, about stat. And, you know, Chen's cooking stuff never used to not never never used to interest me, but as of late, it's really started. It's it, it, it trust me, this stuff is funnier than what you might think. Okay. Chili, I've tried a bunch of different chili cans, or you know, canned chili, and by far, without a doubt, stat chili is like the best canned chili you can get, in my opinion. Give it a shot. I like the dynamite as well as the original classic. So yeah, give it a shot. Warming up nicely right now. Here's my tiny little wooden spoon for camping. I'm gonna get a legit one, a bigger one next time. 
It's really hard to see how high the flame is because you can't see anything here. So that's why it's hard to tell how hot it is. I Another thing I messed up on is from him. Right? I forgot to bring plates and bowls and all that stuff, so I'm eat right out of this pot. All right, I mentioned before that I forgot to bring plates, even though I bought a bunch of plates recently. Well, actually, this was a very last minute, you know, one night camp catch and cook, if I can actually catch something, but. I don't think I would ever do like a one night camping thing, but I mean, shoot, I'm sure it's actually like pretty, it would be pretty fun. Just like a lot of planning for more than one day, because clearly, Chen, you weren't as prepared as you would have liked, but hey, I, I get it. Cam you know, camping could be pretty cool. Yeah, this was a very last minute, you know, camping adventure. So, yeah, it sounds like yeah it. either way. Well, what happened there? I have a Joby stand, but it's getting old, so it's kind of like flimsy and not working out that well. Anywho, I've got my truly. Cheers. Ooh, nice. Are my keto bread. I mentioned before, but this is seriously one of the best chilies you can get from a can. Definitely try it. I'll dip it in. Like that. Wait, so all we made was chili? A chili and bread? That's not even like a, that's not even a cookout. And I was just eating chips. Ducks in the background? How is this like camping? All good. Well, maybe it, it is. But like, he's like, I'm gonna do a catch and release. But dude, you just brought like a can of chili and some bread. I feel bread. like it needs cheese, but... Yeah, probably not. I'll save it for later tonight. I don't need it in the cheese, so maybe I don't know. All right, it is. It's only three forty-nine, so I'm probably gonna eat up, potentially take a nap, a quick nap, and then check on the fishing rods or the fishing rod. If there's a fish on, I'm gonna do a catch and cook and record that as well. If not, I have a lot of food here to cook up, so we're good to go for this one nighter camping trip that I just did off the fly. I just booked it. I was like, yeah, I want to just go for one night, see what happens. Um, anyhow, thank you for joining me, and I will keep you posted on what happens next. But I'm going to eat this, maybe add some cheese, maybe cook a sausage and add that, but otherwise, I'll see you later tonight. I don't know how well you can see me, but check this out. <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> something about him is just like really funny and just like so interesting <laughs> oh that is so funny comedy challenge roast brennan shop this is what it would be a homeless cat oh that homeless cat would definitely win too that's like that's the thing and marina del rey oh. and there's a plane flying over right now so i'll wait so as I was saying, oh, shoot, it's the scariest catch and cook I've ever done because we caught this opalata off a jetty in Marina Del Rey. And no joke, we saw trash bags floating by. We saw a used condom, a giant used condom that just floated right, right by us. And I froze this for a couple days and I thawed it out for her. That would be the last place I would ever fish if I seen one of those just strolling by in the water. I would get up and leave. Chin, why didn't you get up and leave? Two and a half days now, three days probably. So, and I'm gonna actually try to do sashimi with this and then also. He let it thaw in the fridge for three days. Dude, you don't even let meat thaw in, in the fridge for three days. Like a steak? No, that that that's disgusting. So fish. Do you, like, you know it, it's actually one thing if it's like some like frozen fish that was like farmed like all like shady like, and shoot, and you thought out. I would say like two, like the first day it's thaw, then you better eat it that second day or else it, it'll start tasting weird like it'll start smelling weird but one that you just caught dude that probably had like an expiration of like 12 hours i would not eat a fish i caught 
24 hours later. No way. That's so weird. Fried up, so let's see what happens. Quick shout out to my buddy Dave for hooking me up with this cool little filet knife. Let's see how sharp this guy is. I actually shot it earlier, but let's see how That's sharp it is. Crazy looking thing. Right, first, cut behind the pectoral fin. I think if you use it with this, you actually can make something more. So it's not super sharp. It's kind of disappointing. Still have some scales on there too. Did say that about your um? Well, again. So I'm not gonna gut this. I'm just gonna cut around the rib bones. I mean, but you have to think though, if this was like the 1800s, this is literally how you get fish. You know, so it might be gross to us. But, like, imagine the Great Depression, and someone gave him this fish. Oh you, oh, you don't want that? I just bought it in that one all, that dirty river down there. What are you talking about? Every river is dirty. So, you, you know what I mean? Okay. Not the best, but... Not too bad. I will say the they fish feels a little mushier now, which I don't like. Now to the side. Dude, it's, it's you thought it for three days. Just the backbone. There's no way that's good. I think I just got to last like three days in the fridge. Go through all the way to the bottom here. They would need to build like preserve it. And that fish probably isn't, or probably isn't. And then just peel back and follow the backbone. It's actually kind of interesting. And cut around the ribcage. I think next time I'll put a towel underneath the fish so it doesn't slip as much. Okay. And this, I will save for bait or chum. I guess that would make um, good bait. But I guess that, that, that sort of adds up. Man, maybe. this is sketchy. <laughs> I would say as much as I want to do a sashimi, the meat is just... It's so mushy now, so I'm wondering if it's just been in the fridge too long. Uh, but for the sake of this video, and for you guys, I'm gonna make at least one slice of sashimi and eat it. Why do I feel like sashimi is raw chicken? I mean, raw, raw fish? It's sick. I hope you guys realize how much I do for you. Let me okay, go ahead and sharpen this knife a little bit more. It. And you wanna moisten your sharpening stone. All right, back here. Oh, that's such a Babe. little amount of fish. This is so sketchy. I don't. I have to, at least one bite. Eat a small one. I know, please. I know. I use the small ones. I will, I know. Which one do you think is better for sashimi, though? Because I'm going to keep one with skin on and one with off. Oh, no, I do look sketchy. I'm sure we're waking up. <laughs> um. I saw his girlfriend just done and entered his YouTube video. That's like that's so random. She just walked in on her boyfriend like, wait, wait, is he making raw fish? <laughs> Dude, I, I, what, what are we doing here? Hey, uh, uh. The smell is even a little odd too, right? Hey, don't do it. I'm gonna do it regardless. So. <laughs> so for both of them, I have skin on. I just, you know, scaled it. But I'm gonna use one of these for sashimi and just. Like I said, I'd probably take a bite or two because I don't want to get sick. You know, I'm going to just do this one. Then why even make it? So for like, this one, I'll have to take the skin off. Right, with the like fingernail, and just slide that knife down there. And once you have enough skin, you can just grab it like that and then just cut along the skin and get as much flesh as possible. All right, so there's the skin. Once again, I'll use this for chum, for bait, that kind of stuff. And this is what we're gonna make sashimi with. <laughs> All right, like that. So you caught and killed an entire fish for like the, the two minuscule bites? Just three pieces, four pieces. Like you don't want like, to for like one YouTube For this one, it's uh, gonna fry up with a uh, pinko okay. crust and egg. Okay. 
But it's so little. Let's, Let's do this. Just... It's just wasabi, a little bit of ginger, and low sodium soy sauce. I think I need to take a shot, babe, because this is kind of scaring me a little. Babe. What? Babe, you shouldn't do it. Babe, I made a decision. I'm gonna do it. Okay, one shot really like do okay, it, do it for you. Sick. Is it worth getting okay. sick? I don't think I get sick though, because it's been a couple bites, maybe. Huh? Maybe one or two bites. I feel, I'm gonna taste how the first one is. So you're so Why? nervous. Well, I know something's wrong. Spit it out. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with this first. <laughs> We made it this far. Agree. Let's do it. Here goes mushy nothing. Let's do it indeed. Mm -hmm. Into the soy sauce. Here we go. Babe. What? That's good. You want to try one? No. Come on. No, babe. I'm not. Okay. That's actually good though. I'm really surprised. Three days in the fridge. I'm shocked. Here we go again. If you, if you knew that three two. days was a bad idea, why'd you do it? Holy crap, babe, we're gonna catch these now. Where they went? We're over here, Southern California. By the condom and. But I mean, babe, the ocean's filled with trash regardless, you know? It's just, we see it more along the shore. Okay, that's Okay. I mean... I'll just do one more piece. Number three. I wonder if they actually ended up, ended up getting sick from this. Honestly, that was that wasn't such a boring video. I have to be honest, but I think that shows more about my own content. That I'm like, that was actually a good video. <laughs> it was just like ridiculous how entertaining it was. It's sort of like all my videos and stuff, right? Who am I? Um, actually, I don't. I don't want to look at that. Played with Messi and Magape in Premier League. Um, I it it don't count. I, I oh is that Brendan Schaub and his bike club? So stupid. And the grand facade so soon will burn. Oh, I I I do love these fan made images. They're just always there's there's so much lore behind them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unhinged fake laughter. Oh no, I think I know this. I would probably take this. This might drive me nuts. <laughs> Everyone, this is the craziest laughter you'll ever see ever. Ah, fuck, man. Oh my god, that's so funny. I know that I'm gonna get killed for laughing at that, but I'm about to. <laughs> Why you you know, I, okay, no, no, no. Everyone, you all better thank me for me saving us all from that. I know that that whole thing was scripted. There was no reason for birds to try going viral. Well, I mean, what's the reason? It's for like fame and attention. But the fact that Brendan instantly knew to do the same, either he was mimicking or Bert told him about like, how he went viral so he was sort of like like so he's like hey oh take like if i start laughing maybe just if you want to do it hey it might blow up on the internet who knows oh so true um this is this is rogan comedy do, do we really want to see this Sure, we have got a to. giant purple dick oh, and a leather love. vest on. He's going knuckles up on you, <laughs> spitting on you. <laughs> he can't come, so he starts fingering his butt. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. I've got some blood in that thing. Someone must be lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Ooh. No rules, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Everyone, whoa. The reason Brennan Schaub makes a bunch of gay jokes is because Joe Rogan does. Everyone, we just cracked the case. I am so blown away. Brendan always knew that 
Joe Rogan did comedy. So that meant that must you think he didn't he didn't watch his hero's comedy specials? And his hero talks about big black. And so that's what Brendan does. Let's finish this. This is crazy. This is so like 90s comedy. He would have sucked that dick like it was the horn of freedom. Like the he was on a cliff with a conch shell. I want you to dunk your tongue into my keys like a thirsty Rottweiler drinking out of a toilet bowl. <laughs> Stupid! I'm not that funny, man. I need some help. Got a giant purple dick and a leather vest on. That is too good. Oh, I, I at first I thought he said King of the 2000s, and I was like, yeah, but we're 2000s cringe comedy. Yeah, I think back like in the 90s, 2000s, this sort of stuff was in, like to be really cringe. But honestly, even in the 80s, being cringe was in. I think every everything in life is just cringe. Every every single thing, <laughs> which is it's, it's sort of true if you think about it. Okay, let's. Asian is hacked. Two left. I never hear about your brother. How old is your brother? He's two years older than me. What's he do? He's a IT director. Ooh, check out the big brain on. Yeah. What's his name? Chong. Check out the big name his on. Name is Chong. Big brain on Chong. Chong. So it's Chin Chong. and Chong growing up, which is his terrible. Name's Chong? Oh God, that race that the the, the the amount of anti yeah. Asian. Kind of. Uh, it, the names were Chin Chong and dude, I bet dude, in school you got we Ching got Chong. Yeah, of course they were like Ching Chong, Ching Chong. Oh, oh wow, Man, people are real. I remember that unreal. really well. I remember all that. Like, <laughs> Mr. Shab, after you numb your lip, you need many, many stitches. Like Asians were the last group where it was acceptable to make. Yo, the fact that his name is Chin, his brother's name is Chong. <laughs> that. It, that has to be made up. That cannot like are are, are you freaking kidding me? That is oh that is Brett is like that's on rail. I agree, brother. That back. is on yeah. rail. Could it's Kaya? Could it's Kaya? Could it's It could be Jeff. Could it's That's oh, how I do it. Oh, could it's Uh introducing Yana Could it's Taya? Yeah, we were they, fun of all. I the would time. say yeah. they're the still time. not awesome. out of the woods with that. Probably not. Like, out of the woods. No, it's, it's gotten better. Up. I think it's gotten, it's a lot gotten way better. Well, well now yeah. Abercrombie didn't help with that. Yeah. Have <laughs> you Abercrombie. seen that shirt, Chin? No. Abercrombie. Oh, the shirt they sold. We might have done it on a. Yeah, where it was like event. two longs two don't oh, make yeah, a yeah, white. That's terrible, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Is that offensive, Chin? Just a little. This be worth paying your life, guaranteed. Worth paying your life. A little. It just sounds like messed up. I think it'd be funny if you wore it. Is your brother? Is your brother a big guy? Uh, he's shorter than me, but he's still like 5'11". Yeah, probably. Koreans are tough. Yeah. As Stocky, shit, but it's Stocky, hard. Yeah. Big calves, huge calves. Yeah, with, with yeah. many. It's more, calves. it's more spirit. Koreans are just tough as fuck in like. Spirit. And they have a work ethic. They like will the fight mother. You. Oh yeah. Well, come on, go Korean, zombie. Wow. Let's take no races. <laughs> it's a job. Sorry for your loss. Uh, when I go to Japan eventually, um, have you been there I, yet? No, but I plan to. Dude, take yeah. these street skills to Japan. That's, yeah. yeah, man. It's Tumble with some of the boys. Yeah, you ever heard of Gan Ryujima? Yeah. What's Ooh? up? You ever heard of Gan Ryujima? Uh, what's no. that? It's a Tattoo fighting works? organization in Japan. Underground? Um, no, it's not underground. Let's but, stay underground. Um, it's like a, it's like a once a year. Uh, nah, but it's so cool, dude. Really? So Bring it's that like, shit up, Chin. How do you spell that? They got some. T I I wonder when the first time in Brennan's life when he started saying daddy. I would really like to know that. Uh, G A N. G A N. R Y U. I mean, you have no clue how to spell it. Y U. Do you? <laughs> Do you? I, I'm just <laughs> Korean. Hey, I, I, right? I, I, what are you talking about? But wouldn't you assume he like? No, I would you know. Know. No, I I Japanese. No, 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 no. American man. How do you say it? Gan no Ryushima. That's yeah, tough. Look at that. That's tough. <laughs> All right, so Gan no Ryushima. He'd have a better idea than I do. Well, well he's no, no, Korean. No, no, no. And, he's, and I'm Gang, white. But he's from so Texas. He's he's from Texas. Texas. Yeah, but he's he's from Texas. Yeah, but he's a man. Give you sure. a little time, Chink. I mean, when's the last oh, time we went to the gym? Wow. See, I don't see why that's racist. Two I, left. I never hear that about your brother. too crazy. Brennan, I think to your core, maybe you did project about your own ethnic ambiguity because there's no reason 
for you to be like just weirdly passive aggressive as racist as you are and I would almost guess that it comes from a place of insecurity after all you are our little sensitive soy boy interesting did Ariel thank Papa for his gig oh shoot he got he got to the Olympics you know Ariel did certainly deserve it I think I thought he was always good at what he did like I really didn't know much about him but you know just saying I thought he was funny happy birthday BCEO How, did you do anything special for your birthday yeah we went out for Mexican food I had a carne asada chimichangas which were fantastic and uh you know i'm so old luke the margarita i drank had it gave me a pounding headache within a half hour how did you do anything special for your birthday yeah we went out for mexican food i had a carne asada chimichangas which were fantastic and uh you know i'm so old luke the margarita i drank had it gave me a pounding headache within a half hour oh nice a happy birthday curse of the baba I think I seen this one came out like like five days ago. This dude, I guess like he used to be loved like Brendan, but then like everything started going bad on him. Oh, because I think he lied about prison. Yeah, probably not the best brains for the arts. Okay, that's this one. Tell this should be a good one. Yeah, I'm there for hours. But why well, not just grab some wipes by the side of it? Toilet, toilet paper is um Oh, primitive. this might be kind of crazy. But the wipes everyone. are disgusting. The wipes are great. I, I, I need water on my shitter, and I keep it really pristine. Oh, dude, you can I've, eat off my I've been at nice restaurants or hotels, Brian. Eat off my I'll shitter. walk in. He's in the restaurant on top of the sink going like this That's with the water. It's not true. Just, you know it's true. I stuck my ass in a sink before, yes. Doing this wash my ass. with the but water. That way. And I'm like, what? No, your ass is to me, I, which is worse. Because <laughs> then your big yes, balls yes, are yes, just yes, hanging yes, down. Yeah, and he's going like this. Do you have gorilla balls? Oh, they're uh, I mean, massive. Yeah, I have huge balls. That's probably why my testosterone. They're so are plump, dude. Really? Yeah. yeah. Big old angry balls. And a dick. My dick hangs low, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, lower yeah. than yeah. your... Let me ask you yeah. something. No, no way. Your dick's not lower than your balls. My dick is pretty No, his, ball, his balls are like those big white truffles they brought. Oh, my, my girl the other day goes, look at your situation. Tells have them? Yeah. I'm there for hours. But oh, look at this face he's making. He's like, I'm there for hours. Like, he, he has such this weird inflection. It's it's almost so hard to like like he he is like I was there for hours. Like he, he moves his mouth when he talks. He, does, he doesn't just move his like lips. He he's like ow. <laughs> and dude, your jeans did in fact rip. Why, Brendan? Why did they rip? Cause they were that skinny. I I almost don't even know if I could get over this face he's legit making. That's so cr That is... Oh, should I make that into the thumbnail? Shoot. We'll see. So everyone, I hope you did like this gameplay down below. I do believe that's pretty much finishing. I wish I could remember exactly what that the story was... Ha what was happening. But I just know he's trying to save his sister. And we're just helping him out. Go, go along to get along sort of situation. Okay. Oh. And that was that. See, I'm a person of my word, right? I'm in the business of likability. Everyone, thank you so much. That is episode 30 of the Trugwog series. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you like this series, it means the world to me. And if you want to support me on OnlyFans or Patreon for early access to these videos, every video, and some look at my then that would be cool too something tells me you might like what you see everyone thank you so much i appreciate you watching you standing by 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 my side for 30 videos which is however many weeks nine months i don't know i'm not a numbers person everyone remember you are loved and appreciated i'll catch you on the next one but until then High Stakes Games, signing out. See you, everyone. Have an amazing rest of your day.